Well, hello everyone. How you been? Uh, been off for a few days. Had I had some things that uh, had to take care of, kind of medical issues as well. But hey, back and hope you're doing well. Listen, this is going to be just a real short program because there is another one that will be coming behind this. I'm actually setting up a time to bring on a guest that, folks something's happened. Let me just be very candid with you. Something has happened. Now, when the election took place back on November 9th, I did a video and I tried to explain to everyone, um, didn't have nearly as many of you watching. And by the way, thank you for watching. Appreciate that. And high five for you. Thank you. Um, but I told you something inside of me I mean, okay, let me digress. Star Trek The Next Generation did um, a number of great episodes on altering consciousness. And in the one, it was called Yesterday's Enterprise. And they had apparently through, you know, some kind of, weapons, I think it was a photon, it opened up a rift in space. And when the old enterprise came through the rift, it affected the new enterprise's reality. Everyone changed in an instant. No one knew it. No one was aware of it. The only one who was aware of it was Gaian. And that was the character played by Whoopi Goldberg. She had the consciousness the spatial ability that she knew the timelines have shifted. Now, my guest that I'm going to be bringing on, we're going to talk about some things, folks, that I will assure you this. You are going to question more about this timeline. I am telling you right now, I told you almost a year ago, that something changed. And I know it sounds ludicrous. I know it sounds ridiculous, completely fringe. But I'm telling you, something changed. In the timeline that we were on, on November 8th, 2016, in that timeline, Hillary, Hillary Clinton won the election. And I don't know if what happened. I, I, I really don't. Now, I will let you know this. I go back and look at my video on quantum computing. I can't be more serious to you, this folks. They are now saying the D wave, the God chip. Are you ready for this? is taking from other timelines and pulling it into ours. Now, I know that that sounds completely impossible. I get it. But we wouldn't know. There would be, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I put it this way, the residual in the collective consciousness would know. It would be a vibration that would be counter to the one where the harmonics are in this timeline. Now, I'm going to show you something because I'm 62. So I, I went to school. My, you know, the first grade was 1960. And I have an exceptional mind. Always have. So what I'm about to show you, I'm going to leave with you to think about. All right. So this is Google Maps, as you can see. I heard that. Um, here's the deal. Look at Australia. Now, you can't find an old map unless it's in a textbook. And if any of you've got textbooks from the 50s, or the 60s, you will see that New Zealand used to be up here. 
Australia was never that close to Papua New Guinea. I mean, go back into the war. Papua New Guinea was like the furthest um, remote outpost that the Allies had, and they were mostly Australians, that were on Papua New Guinea to watch the movement of the uh, Japanese Navy. New Zealand and the friend I'm and the, the guest I'm going to be bringing on, he will bring this out as well, is that New Zealand was almost west to northwest. That means two things: either New Zealand has moved or Australia has moved. And it would appear, for all intents and purposes, that it's Australia that appears to have moved. Now, we've all heard of the Mandela effect. I mean. It's been documented. Something's going on. Um, the, the, the great thing about it is the baby boomers, those who have that ability, we can see this. We know it. Talk about a stranger living in a strange land. But we're going to get into more of this. We're going to get into more of how your whole reality has shifted, and you would never know about it. You would have those who were, let's say, sensitives, empaths, they know. They have been saying more and more. And then you got CERN. Now, you don't hear much about CERN. Now, that project is coming to an end. They're going to be turning it back over um, I think to the Norwegian people, I think that's going to get that, whoever gets eventual control of CERN. Um, but, you know, we're messing in areas we don't know anything about. It's how science progresses. But I'm telling you, something's happened. Now, whether you want to believe this or not, that's fine. That's cool. You can stay where you are. But you're going to see more and more the evidence of this. Listen, if we've got artificial intelligence, that's quantum computing. Now, when you understand the dynamics of quantum mechanics, it impacts everything. Something that small dominates all this. It's true. And this is why I believe a lot of us are awakening to a spiritual aspect that many never thought themselves to be in this place. I would have never, but I know this, my wife, family, we know something's changed. It's just the Dickens trying to actually nail it down, but there's some sharp people out there, and collectively, I think we can begin to see this. The evidence are there, and they're, they're rapidly changing it. Listen, someone in school today looked at that map. That is reality to them. For me and others like me, we see it and we go, what happened? That wasn't like that. And that is what we're in, folks. We're in a time where our cognitive uh, attributes, your ability to think, your ability to comprehend, your ability to process is being challenged across the board in every area. And I got a sense there, there may be hope but I also got this sense there's going to be a lot of casualties along the way. All right, folks, I will be back. Um, got some other interesting guests. Barbara uh, DeLong will be back. Uh, Tamu, we're working on a uh, weekly show uh, with Tamu as well. Um, hope to have Heidi back on her, back here. And we'll have some other. We got, I, I'm working with this gentlemen right now once we get the schedule synced up this is going to i guarantee you cause you some real cognitive disassociation 
All right, be kind to yourself. That's so important. Once you learn to be kind to yourself, you can be kind to others. All right, we'll talk soon, folks.